Hi folks, how are you going? Um, I just thought I'd give you a little update. I've been getting heaps of messages from everyone asking about uh, the progress I've had post-surgery with my uh, nerve issue in my arm, uh, cubital tunnel syndrome. And for those of you who aren't familiar, who didn't see the previous video, I had to have surgery done on my elbow to correct a nerve problem which was affecting my guitar playing and my hand. Um, as well as my day-to-day -day life. Um, so basically I had my stitches out today. So I've just got a little dressing on there. I apologize, I've still got tape and shit all over my arm. Um, I've just got a little dressing on there now. Um, the surgery went really well. Um, the surgeon was pretty pleased uh, with the quality of the nerve that he saw. So he, it wasn't as damaged as he thought it could have been. Um, so, uh, basically he assures me there will be some level of recovery. So he can't guarantee to me that I'll come to ever come back to having a hundred percent hand strength and dexterity, but basically it is going to improve, uh, in his eyes. So that's really good to hear. Um, as far as recovery from the surgery, it was fine. Like I, I didn't have to... I was given some uh, fairly heavy uh, pain medication to take, but I didn't end up having to take it because um, it, evidently uh, Dr. Justin Alexander is such a good surgeon that uh, I didn't really have any issues with pain post-surgery. They did a nerve block on my arm, so my whole right arm for 24 hours following the, following the surgery was completely just uncontrollable. So... It was like I had someone else's arm just hanging on me. It was really bizarre. But then once that wore off, I thought, all right, surely it's gonna really start hurting. But it didn't. It, I, I've been really lucky. Um, I had a look at the scar and the scar should heal up quite nicely. So that's pleasing as well. So uh, basically, um, I'm just trying to be as positive as I can because I know it's not guaranteed that I'm going to be able to get back and play in the capacity that I used to, but the signs are fairly positive at this point. I, I went in the music room last night here at home and I played for about half an hour and I wasn't having any fatigue issues in my hand, which was stopping me from playing gigs before. So that's encouraging. I mean, my hand still looks kind of gaunt and weird and all atrophied and stuff like there's bunch of muscle missing so it looks a bit a bit daunting and I kind of have to stop myself from just looking at it because it, it psychs me out a little bit but um as far as actually playing um last night was really positive that I was able to do that I played some kind of strenuous rhythm stuff just to see whether I was getting any fatigue issues with my hand and I, I didn't really get the same kind of fatiguing issues in my hands. So here's hoping that um, it is on the mend and that I can regain some muscle mass in order to be able to, you know, play with the same kind of hand fistedness as I used to. Um, basically, that's all I've really got to say. I mean, the, sur the surgeon was awesome. Uh, his team of anaesthetists were great. Unfortunately, we had to go and do it at a private hospital instead of the sportsmen facilities um, due to my weight, unfortunately. They, they didn't have the facilities there for a larger person. So I had to go and get it done at a private hospital. And unfortunately, that meant the surgery being about twice as much as it was before in terms of money because I'm self-funded. I didn't have private health insurance. That's a lesson to me. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get some pretty serious health insurance, I reckon. Um, so yeah, the, the surgery was quite expensive and it's gonna take me quite a while to pay all that off. But at the end of the day, I'm lucky that I was in a position in a country where, you know, the health system isn't inundated with COVID and all sorts of other things where I can have that operation. And potentially it's an operation that might have saved my, you know, choice of career, which is nuts. So, uh, just to kind of cap it all off, I'd like to say thank you again to everyone who's been, you know, everyone's been so nice to me and 
you know, been really encouraging and, and supportive and empathetic and, and all that stuff. So, uh, not out of the woods yet. I, I wouldn't go play a gig next week because I can't be sure of how my hand's going to re react. But uh, cautiously optimistic at this point. Um, thank you so much for watching. So apologies for my voice. I got a bit of a cold, unfortunately, yesterday. So I'm a bit... I'm a bit honky sounding at the moment, but uh, thank you so much. Um, I'll hopefully have another video soon. and Maybe if all goes well, I can uh, do another cover or something in the studio. But uh, we'll see. Thank you so much. Take it easy, guys. See ya.